What's up guys, Sean King, Misfits Academy. Quick tip for you with digging your holes. We recommend you do not use a mechanical auger or mechanical machine at all to dig a hole near or within two feet of a buried public utility or even a private line. In this case, for an example, we have a buried public utility. We have a power line, which is indicated by the red dot right in front of me in the flag. That red dot continues to that red dot and then continues to that red flag over there. So this power line runs in an arc around this yard. That's where that line is supposed to be. And by law, we need to be at least two feet away from it if we dig with a mechanical device of any sort. This orange dot right here is a communication line. That orange dot, which goes to this orange dot right here, which goes to this orange dot behind me. When we talk about two foot away from the line, this orange dot is over two feet from the line. But that doesn't count. That's not how this gets measured. If you were to connect the dots, then that is the travel or the line uh, where the line is buried in that direction. We need to be two feet perpendicular to that line. So if this is where they propose the cable to be, we should not be using a mechanical digging device within two feet of this line here. So it would be two feet that direction. Or well, here, I've dug a hole already, and you can see that's well over two feet from that buried cable. That's 46 inches or so. The other key thing to note is that when they're talking about two foot, that's to the edge of your hole, not to the center of your hole. So you can't dig a 10 inch hole two feet away because that's gonna put you 15 inches away from the edge of the hole to the buried line, supposedly if that's what a line is. Basically what's happening is the utility companies have a tolerance of two foot either direction of that buried cable in most parts of the country. So they're saying that that buried cable is somewhere in this area. And if you use a mechanical device and you hit it in that area, you're liable for the damage to that utility. In this case with a power line, it's kind of a bigger problem because someone get really hurt augering that power line if they were to get shocked from it. So in this case, we have a gate. We can't move the post over. The post has got to go here. So we recommend that your lead, your foreman, or your co-foreman digs this hole. Somebody that has the most experience decreasing the chance of damaging that buried utility line as they excavate the hole.